Everyone's talking about GPT-5, but here's what nobody's showing you. How it can instantly tell you who to sell to, what to say, and why, without touching any CRM or sitting through any sales meeting. On this video, I'm going to show you GPT-5 in action. And today, what I'm going to show would be using lead lists with GPT-5. And what we're going to do specifically is we're going to ask GPT-5 to be a sales strategist for us. This is standard theory. You're about to see how it works. So stay until the end of the video because I will show you exactly how you can benefit this from this video. So let's go. Have you ever found yourself staring at spreadsheets of leads, wondering who to call first? You know the pain, hours lost of sifting and sorting and prioritizing which one to call first, which one to contact first. And these are critical things in sales, in business, and in marketing. And especially if you are running your business and you want to build your revenue, this could be one of the things that can move the needle of your business. And by the time you reach the best leads by doing the manual work, guess what? All your hot leads are going to go cold and time, money are all gone. Loss of sales, you have leads lost in the cracks. And that's a one big painful thing, which we don't ever talk about. We, we let it slip through the cracks. But here's the thing. What we're going to do today is we're going to be much more intentional and I'm going to show you a quick demo and also what are the differences and the changes in terms of sales specifically and also things that you could use in your own situation. One of the high level that is a difference between GPT-4 because GPT-4 before it could help you a bit, but GPT-5 changes the game. It has faster reasoning, deeper personalization, and it can score leads. I write perfect emails in one go. So now let me show you. So before we dive into GPT-5, I'm going to show you what I'm going to feed into GPT-5. So this lead list that I'm, I'm showing you is the critical thing about this is we will take this into GPT-5 and we would want it to get the priority and also create some personalization of outreach. So let me show you how. So here, now we have a better overview. So I'm just gonna give you a walkthrough with a quick walkthrough before we jump into the demo. So this is the interface of GPT-5. And as you can see, the description, the most smartest, fastest, and useful model yet. With thinking built in, and you get the best answers every time and using different use cases. So I found there are a few use cases that we can use, but today I'm going to show you on this video with a very straightforward demo, and I'm going to show you what's the difference. As you can see, there are no clutter. It's just one model, no jumping in different models. And of course the new features are still here. So we have the deep research, you have the agent mode, we have create image, think longer, the study and learn is also a new new feature. Web search, Canvas, and so many integrations as well. So what we're going to do in this video is I'm going to show you directly. Earlier, I showed you the lead list, and this is the file. And this is my prompt, and you can screenshot this if you want. You can give it a try on your side and give it a go. So let's go. So as you can see, it, it takes a little bit of, of thinking because these are 100 leads in the sheet. And what I did want is for step one is to score the leads. Step two is to give me a personalized follow-up email for top three leads. And also very clear, it has an output as a clean table with lead name, score, reason, email, and new snippet. So here, what you can see here is very clear, right? If I'm going to do this in GPT-4, it's going to be a different output. But now here's where you can see very clear three leads. Step one, score from one to 10 based on likelihood to buy within 30 days. So it's not just scoring with the pain, but also the, the time. And also what happens here is it goes with Apple solution. The reason it has reasons as well. This, these are scores and we have high budget, urgent timeline, referral source, high impact sales pain point. And here's what is the thing that I like about this? Because the pain has been amplified in this email. 
So I noticed you have been facing challenges with low conversion from leads to sales. This is the pain point. And of course, we do talk about what we can do for them. And this is because of my memory. And we would like to have a quick call. And that goes with all the personal emails. So one sentence is all about their pain. Second is all about how we can help them specifically. And the third is a call to action. Simple, straightforward. But of course, you can still prompt further. But from the first prompt output, can you see the difference? Before it was a struggle, you need to prompt so many times for you to be able to come to this point. But now it's faster, it's smarter, and more thinking, and more depth into the context of what we want. And now the thing what's going to happen is with AI, the most critical element that you need in your business is data. So imagine if GPT-5 can use and crunch all those data in just a few seconds. Imagine how your business would be in a year, two years, three years, five years. These are critical things that you can use in your business. So what I'm going to share with you to get more perspective as well in my experience is when we talk about GPT-4, there were so many frustrations and there were top three that I, I think that all of us has been experiencing. One is that it has so many generic outreach. So if we're going to create outreach emails and all of that, it's going to be generic. And with GPT-4, you'd often get cookie cutter emails. So it's not exactly what you want. It's not very straightforward. You need to prompt further and further and further until to, you get to the point on what I just showed you. Look at this from GPT-5. It's referencing the lead's exact point. That's what I can show you earlier. So earlier I showed you the frustrations would be for GPT-4, but on top of that, if we're gonna talk about contacts, because if you feed GPT-4 with hundreds of leads, it will be confused. It will hallucinate and it's gonna mix all the tables, the columns, and you're not gonna get anywhere. But with GPT-5, it keeps the contacts perfect across the entire list. So you won't no longer be having the scratch your head and having this headaches. And the thing about GPT-4 before is I need to do single task thinking. So if I have a chat, a trail of chat, I have to do one by one to make it to think. If I'm gonna have two tasks at one chat or one prompt, What's going to happen is it's going to go to hallucinate again. And that's very critical because here we can do two tasks in one go and it doesn't hallucinate. I have done this. I've tried so many times today from, from the release and so far it's pretty awesome. So now this is the first time AI feels ready to make real sales decision for you. No integrations, no coding, your data, one prompt, instant clarity. If this is what it can do today. Imagine when we build it into a full revenue engine. And that's what we do in Fullmax AI. If you want more GPD-5 strategies you can use right now to drive revenue, hit that subscribe button below and don't forget to click on that bell. I'll be giving you more and more insights, materials, new tips, and we also have a podcast and you can click in the description below. You can click on the screen our podcast playlist that I also deliver more of the future proof leaders that has used AI, that has used systems, technology and tools and also how to become a future proof leader. And don't forget AI Playbook is below. Just click on the link and I'll see you on my next video.